basic design of experiment analysis using Minitab. Uh, I have this data set uh, that you can see temperature, humidity, and comfort. And this data was collected from 12, I believe it's 12 subjects uh, in the class. So these rooms are set under these conditions, uh, 65 degree, and then 0% humidity, the comfort level was two. Comfort level zero means no comfort, uh, 10 means the best comfortable uh, situation. So if we want to do just a single factor uh, ANOVA or one way ANOVA, we can see that uh, maybe the effect of temperature, you have 65 degrees, 75 degree, 85 degree on comfort. In that case, you can go STAT and ANOVA, one way ANOVA. Um, data response in column right now, the way data is arranged is like this. Sometimes you could have a separate columns data, but now it's just one column data. So response is my comfort and factor would be if I'm interested in uh, checking the temperature then I can select temperature and comparison this will compare between the levels of the temperature so you have 65 75 85 I would like to just keep it simple uh, Fisher is the most uh, um, simple comparison these are some sort of uh, um, adjusted uh, some tests are more conservative like two key uh, some are you know liberal Fisher is the basic um, test uh, to see whether which one is the best comfortable temperature or which which temperature is the worst things like that uh, so let's select Fisher you could check all of these um, it's not gonna hurt anything because you're not doing it manually using many tabs so it doesn't really matter um, however if you're not falling the trap of saying why you test selected a conservative test compared to Fisher just leave it simple people will you avoid a lot of complicacy so hit OK and then if you hit OK again uh, these are some graphs showing the minus plot uh, we really don't need that in this see so if you look at this it produces the analysis of variance table and then um, the uh, mean comparison table so as you can see here at 75 degree it was the most comfortable this score came around 7.3 and this different letter means they're significantly different meaning that 75 had significantly better comfortable uh, than 85 and then 65 was the worst comfortable temperature under these conditions so that's how you do a one-way uh, and of our one factor and over now if you want to combine both humidity and temperature you could just do call ANOVA generalized linear model feed general for instead of one way feed generalized linear model you could do basically anything you want there response comfort factor humidity we don't have COVID yet just select like that and then under the model if you want to see the interaction then you have to select the two-way interaction default does not choose the interaction so it only choose the temperature and humidity so you have to leave it like that hit ok um, like the one way ANOVA it will not produce the comparison directly we have to run another run so for the two-way ANOVA or two-factor ANOVA in this case temperature and humidity are the two factors that is um, uh, and then it is affecting the comfort uh, so if you want to see which combination of temperature and humidity is the best and worst then we have to do another run so for using generalized linear model we we'll have to do two runs to determine which is the best combination so hit ok it will store all the results behind the scene mini tab it will also produce the analysis of variance table which where you can see whether some variable is significant uh, or not at all so this is the analysis of variance table it looks like humidity temperature significant humidity significant the interaction was also significant so let's go ahead and run the um, the the pairwise comparison so generalized linear model now 
previously when you didn't run the analysis uh, feed this analyzed linear model all of these were uh, kind of inactive you can go back to the video and check it now these predict factor plots factorial plots comparison they're kind of now live so you can click on there and then you can select all of these comparison uh, mini tab does not do some stuff automatically like you have to click here to kind of say yeah compare this 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 and this just leave everything as it is hit okay it will produce that comparison table it's not so this is the uh, comparison table for the interaction so if you can see uh, 75 degree uh, with 50% humidity found to be the most comfortable this score came 9.16 so almost like 10 uh, the best comfortable condition whereas uh, 65 degree Fahrenheit with 100% humidity was observed to be the least however you realize that these three are same this is the same letter means they're not statistically significant so basically 65 uh, degree Fahrenheit and zero humidity 85 degree Fahrenheit 100 percent humidity 65 degree Fahrenheit 100 percent humidity though all they came uh, statistically the least comfortable the next group for this like that so uh, if if you find the ANOVA significant then you have to do another run uh, which is called post talk analysis to determine which is the most comfortable uh, set um you know in generalized which is the most com most um optimum combination of factors that produces the best um, uh, result for example you have a machine that you can vary the speed you can vary the feed rate and then you can see the machining quality so what is the best combination for the feed rate and the speed uh, to determine to to make uh, the smoothest or nicest quality parts things like that so this some um, this provides uh, some type of um, um, this table provides that information the optimization uh, the best and the worst uh, in this case there was no worst because you had three they perform the least uh, three combination and one perform the best so we can say we have best but no least and you know how to interpret that so that's about the basic doe design of experiments in mini tab you can also do t test in all other type of test doe there are some advanced doe you could do uh, but this this is the basic how to do analysis of variance in mini tab